laying a finger aside of his nose, giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Youth Services Librarian Denise Coffrin read the children Little Santa, which tells how Santa ended up living in the North Pole. After Denise read the story, the kids got to meet a very special guest. Drove out of sight. Oh, 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 and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Are we all excited about Christmas? Yeah! And have we all been good girls and boys? Yeah! Raise your hand if you've been a good girl and boy. Excellent. Do you want to hear Santa read you a story? Santa's going to read Santa Claus and the Three Bears today. Yeah, I know. Pretty, what a splendid idea, Santa explained, and took a spoonful from a great big bowl. This pudding is too hot, he said, and tasted the pudding in the middle-sized bowl. This pudding is too cold. He decided to move on to the pudding in the wee little bowl. This pudding is just right, he said, and he ate it all up. Then Santa sat down in Papa Bear's chair. This chair is too hard, he said. He sat down in Mama Bear's chair. This chair is too soft, he said. And then he sat down in Baby Bear's chair, and it was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. So then Santa bounced up and down a little just to get comfortable when the chair broke. And Santa landed, boom, on the floor. I know. Santa, I know, it's a story though. Santa picked, up, Santa picked himself up and decided he needed a little nap before continuing on his way. He took his sack and went upstairs and he found three beds in a row. Santa Claus lay down on the bed of the puppy bear and said, this bed is too high. He then got up and tried the After Chris Kringle, otherwise known as Santa Claus, read Santa and the Three Bears, he then met with the children to get their Christmas wishes and take some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.